Welcome back. We are so glad that you could still be with us as we go through this time talking about the benefit of vision. We bless God for you. We thank God for you for your patience. As I was saying, Liberia is one of the greatest countries on the planet Earth. God has endowed our nation with all of the natural, whatever we need to take that nation to where it should be. Our problem is not lack of resources. And please note, I'm not making any specific reference to any government. I am saying to every one of us as a nation, I am not speaking to a particular government because all of the government since our inception, since our nation have demonstrated to some level the lack of understanding of where we need to be as a nation. So what I'm saying, I'm looking at from the spiritual dimension. I'm not looking from the political dimension. We appreciate all our government, what they have done. At their level, we thank God for them. But what we're saying as a nation is disappointing, it's frustrating. For a nation that is endowed with all of the natural resources. Let me tell you, let me give you a statistic that will shock you. Liberia possesses 57% of all the forests in West Africa. It means that we have more than two thirds of all of the forests in West Africa. We have a huge ecosystem. We have everything that we're supposed to have as a nation to move forward. We have agricultural, we have the best land. Food can grow anywhere from Nima to Morovia, from Maryland to Grand Cape Mall. Why is it, and, and let me ask you, why is it that, that Liberian migrant women have to go to Guinea to buy pepper? Why is it they have to go to Africa to buy tomatoes? Why? It's because of the lack of vision. A vision as a nation, government, individual, every one of us, we have done something wrong. It takes every one of us together to pull that nation out of poverty, to pull that nation out of backwardness. Vision, if you have vision, one of the things will help us, the benefit of vision, it helps you to eliminate short-term thinking. When I go up to Liberia, one of the things when I talk to some of my friends, most of the young boys in Liberia are just looking for what to eat for the day. They are ready to take a twenty dollars from you. Some ready to come and steal from you, see your mobile phone. Because when people have a short term thinking, when they're not looking into the future, they will always do things that only for today. Instant gratification. If you have a vision, it helps you to avoid short term thinking. You are looking into the future. My answer today. How will that guarantee my future tomorrow? People with vision, they're always thinking on the future. What actions they need to take today to bring that future into a better place? Most of our young boys are not going to school. They are riding motorbike. You know why? Because they think about today. What they can eat. But those that have vision for tomorrow, 10, 15 years from now, they will be the medical doctor, they will be the engineer, and you will still be on that motorbike. You will get old and you will not be able to do anything. Because why? Your whole mind has been on, what can I eat today? Liberians, it's not only development. We must develop vision for ourselves as individuals. For so long, we have been very myope, very narrow-minded in our understanding. Liberians do not like small things. They don't see the bigger picture. And we must stop. We must have a clear vision of where we want to go for ourselves and the nation, the governmental institution, political leaders must have a clear vision. They must articulate that vision to the people. The people must believe. And let me tell you something. This one, some of you will say I'm becoming very political. 
People don't buy into vision until they trust the vision bearer. If they don't trust you, whatever you tell them will be received with skepticism. I can tell you. People buy into the vision here first. Our political leaders, do people trust you? Will you turn the issue of corruption all through our nation here? So not today. And every government that comes, it got worse. It got worse. Nobody can deny to me today and say, oh, I began political. There's no corruption. Government no corruption is in the government right now. It was in any government. The, the Judy Bryant government, there was corruption. Even in Tamil government, there was corruption. But what have we done? Do we have a leader that said, okay, as a nation, our resources will be catered towards the rightful place. So we're going to fight corruption. And the leader be transparent in everything they do. Let the vision here be example. That will call example of a leadership. Let people know and trust you. We're talking about corruption today in Liberia. Where the population look into the government, do they trust the government? And if people don't trust the government, even at their own level of living, they will never be transparent. They will always practice corruption. I built a house in Liberia. I tell you, all my brothers and brothers that I gave money to, they ate my money. I have to use a Nigerian to build my house because they were stealing my, 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 my cement. They were stealing my blood. They are there. I'm talking. They know. Because why? The people who don't have a narrow-minded understanding of life. There's a Nigerian man in Liberia. Like, like, I can send him thousands of dollars and he will give a count of it. I couldn't get out for any Liberia. Like, we need to understand. Leaders, as I speak to us today, we have to be an example. We have to have a clear direction where we want to take this nation. But we understand the vision, articulate the vision, and we ourselves, we embody the vision. We embody the vision. Let the vision contaminate us. Let the vision contaminate us. Let the population see that we are vision carrier in our actions. Everywhere you I go, I tell people about I love Liberia. I tell people I'm a Basel man. I'm not going to hide it. I'm a 100%, 110% Basel. It's in my blood. And I will speak that. I appreciate all the other ethnic groups. I have friends in all of the different ethnic groups. I value them. Because the human resources of Liberia is the best resource that we can't be tearing one another down. Within the Kwa ethnic group, in the Kyo, in the Kremo, we have p potential people for Liberia good. Let me tell you, Hofa Bonyi did something in Africa. When Africa got independent, you know what Hofa Bonyi did? He took the best from all the different tribes, put in a special high school, and sent them to France and all over the world. They came back. They became doctors, they became lawyers, they became engineers. And that's what Africa used the human resources of their national people, their ethnic, their com population configuration to build a nation. And sometimes we go to, oh, Africa, Abidjan is beautiful. It took human resources to build that nation. We can't be saying that talking politics. Let me tell you something to all of you politicians. Politics never developed any country. It's visual. What politics does is just divide people. I know you had a political expression. Yes, you can speak it. But speak it, speak a political expression in the context of unity. Speak in the context to build Liberia up. Not to tear down and say the other person is so bad. Let me tell you, everybody loves Liberia. Nobody can say to me or to anybody I love Liberia more. No! It's about time that we all come together. We'll be going for another break. And we'll be coming back. Thank you for the last session on the benefit of vision.
Well, welcome back. And at this time, we really, really want to appreciate and give a heart out to the LRTM, a wonderful, wonderful Liberian based television radio network operating from the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I think they are one of the best on the continent, the best in the diaspora to all Liberians, wherever you are, if you have any ceremony, this, this station is our station to promote our culture, to promote the Liberian community. So don't be afraid to contact the able star, the competent star of the L R N L R O N L R T N. Yes, I got it now. Please, thank you so much. Contact them, and they are going to provide the best of professional services for you. Anything you want. So quickly before we close, we just want to talk about Vision Killer. We talk about vision. We have a need vision. Uh, as a nation, the national vision with the individual vision to get our nation moving forward. And you know, I was very passionate about this, and it's something that I teach. In fact, I have a book that will be coming up somewhere in July. I'm writing a book on transformational leadership for Liberia. Uh, I decided to use my quarantine time because of the corona pandemic, home and having a lot of time, I decided to write a book on transformational leadership. Uh, stepping stone for liberal progress. So, watch off for it. We're coming up very soon, and I believe it will be a great. Some of the same. I'm talking to you on the yeah, inside the book, and you will be very much appreciated uh, after reading it. We will value it. So, we want to talk about vision killer. One of the things that I will very highlight here in uh, seeing our nation is complacency. Complacency. Every time you are quickly set fire. In life, you are going nowhere. And this is, a, it, it becomes a virus in Liberia. Liberians are quick to be certified. Let me tell you something. I have traveled around the world. The Lord gave me the opportunity to travel to 17 different nations around Europe. Africa, now in America. If I really talk to you Liberians, we are nowhere. Every Liberian need to be angry with himself. We are nowhere. We are the least. But I see in Liberia, people go there. I'm not trying to denigrate our country. But I see, a, it's a spiritual part, I don't want to say it, but it means me. The Liberians quite to be safer. Listen, the common saying like, I want my little thing. That's all I want my little thing. How will you move to a level? Let me tell you, the world is talking in terms of big entrepreneurs. People operating in billions. Then you talking about little things. When I look at, when I, listen, Liberians, listen, some of you need to be so disappointed. Our budget this year as a nation is 546 million. Stop there. The budget of Manchester United is 10 billion. The whole, and not a football team, up with a $10 billion budget. Liberia, the whole nation, 546 million, and we are happy. People fighting. Can you imagine? We need. As a nation, to 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 to, to uh, if I if I have the opportunity to slap some Liberian, just slap them, tell them say, you you get to satisfy with little things. That's what our nation is not going anywhere. I laugh. Somebody built one little Congo 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 house in Liberia, one little uh, Zimbabwe house, and the thing that they think that they they have reached somewhere. Somebody threw a high school, and the thing they have uh, arrived somewhere. And that culture even permeates in our Liberian society, even in the, in the Philadelphia, where I, I can tell you. And if I tell you the statistic in terms of the immigrant population, those that really economically moving forward, Liberians are not moving forward. You come to America, and I'm not going to ask you what to do with your life. But how can someone that comes from a poor nation, the third poor country in the world, will have a 50,000 dollars wedding? They have a two mother divorce when they even have a house. That's low thinking. Myopic thinking, thinking, short term thinking. 
See, Chinese are buying everything in America. The Chinese don't wear the same trousers and wear the same slinger for years and they buy confidence because they have big thinking. The thing that kills vision is when you too satisfied, too quick. And Liberians, sorry, maybe I will not invite me in your churches. But, and and, and I, I tell them, I don't need to come there. But some of the messages you're preaching in your church, you're wasting the people's time. You're really wasting the people's time. People need to be delivered. Come and hold this shouting hallelujah. You're not going to make somebody get money in your bank and come. Like people need to come together to empower people to give them word that will make them start thinking big. How many like people own houses in America? You live in somebody's house, you rent it, and then you buy a fifty thousand dollar car. You can't even pay the car no. That's small thinking. When you are too complacent, become too satisfied, it kill vision. Never ever. When God, listen to me, I will close with this. When God told Adam, when God put Adam in the small garden, what did God tell Adam? He said, I have just made a small garden for you. But Adam, I want you to think big. I want you to dominate the whole world. The whole earth is your territory. Adam, don't be satisfied with the Lord God either I'll pray for you. But I want you, Adam, to take the whole world to be your territory. Transform the whole world to be your God of Eden. Liberians, if we gotta go forward, we must, we must eliminate this complacency. May God bless you. We are gonna pray for you wherever you are. Before we pray, let's listen to the Lord music. Before we pray. Jesus, we have come today, Lord, to live for Liberia, to live for every Liberian, our government, our politicians, our religious leaders, our social leaders, our journalists, our students, every configuration of our nation, human landscape. We pray, committed into you again, God, that you bless Liberia, you bless us, give us a clear understanding where we need to go as a nation. Enable us, God. To be the kind of people that you want us to be. Be glorified and be exalted in Jesus' name. I love you. God love you. I hope we'll see you another time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.